Welcome back everybody. Today we are going to leave the crispy at home. We're going to try some bank fishing. So I've picked out a little spot that is below the dam area of a lake that's they stock trout in it this time of year. We're in between stockings, so there may not be that, that many trout, but there's there's carp, there's bass, there's crappie, there's catfish, there's literally everything in here. And I kind of want to get out there in the water, do a little fly dangling, a ton, a bunch of flies. We got conventional as well. I just want to go fish. I just want to get a rod bent. Hopefully we got a little flow and we can get some rod bendage. Trek through the woods, trying not to get the danglers tangled in the brush here. Oh, yeah, this stuff's grabby. Grabby McGee. Uh. All right, little rock traversion here. It's already getting spicy. You know, this is, this is the thing about bank fishing that uh, they don't tell you about in school. You just imagine this nice little grassy bank going out. Uh, they don't tell you about all the traversing, snags, snakes. Yeah, here we go, here we go, rock climbing. Okay, I've been out here about 10 minutes and I'm seeing something that looks tremendously fun. If I can get it to happen, this is, this is really something I want to make happen. It's been on my bucket list for a minute. There's some, uh, some buffalo, some smallmouth buffalo and some other types of carps and they're up here in these shallows. And I've got just a little scud right here. I'm going to attempt to get these babies to eat. This is going to be pretty tough. I've got a uh, 10 and a half foot nymph rod in the truck that I can maybe straight dangle them, but I'm going to try to cast to them with this little light nymph and just see if I can get one of these things to eat. be so sick such a good fight if I could God. It's, hit, it's hitting the water a little hard oh. that buddy that he's close to it he's close to it right there oh my god I thought I think he, I think he was eating it it was really close there are a handful of these smallmouth buffalo swimming around me right here but what I quickly realized is that they're very spooky Trying to cast ahead of them and get the current to bring my nymph by them just isn't working. What I also learned watching these fish for a little bit is that some of them are just sitting in the current, chilling, and some of them have their little lips in the mud and they're picking out bugs. So what I decided to do was go get a different rod set up that I could put my bait right in front of these fish that are feeding in the mud and keep it there. Just playing around in the tackle cave last night, I tied up a heavier weighted nymph that I think might stay in the mud and do the trick. I went back to the truck and I have switched poles. We now have our nymphing rod, 10-6. And I put on one of my, uh, my little hand ties I tied last night. It's a little rabbit hair on there. Kind of a heavy nymph. And I'm gonna try to ninja attack some of these that are just facing into the current, get behind them and just dangle this thing in front of their face. See if I can get one to eat. It's going to be a, an incredible fight on this pole if I can get one to eat. Oh, here's one right here. Literally right here. Ninja attack. Ninja attack. Here we go. 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 Come on. Eat that baby. Eat it, baby. That's how I'm going to have to do it. Straight. Oh, he spooked. He spooked. 
be spooked, but that that's how we're gonna do it, I think. Ah, man, he's spooked. Like, they are scary spooky. I'm not sure what's going on with this fish. I think it's, I think it's dying. I'm gonna leave it alone. There's another one right here. Golly. Damn, these little suckers are tough. Boys, we're hooked up. Oh, I can't believe that actually happened. There we go, baby. Here we go. Now, here's a fun ride. On a three weight, I had to straight dangle that thing in front of that fish's face. And I think it just accidentally sucked it in. It was just part of the part of the bottom. It was sucking. Oh my gosh, this is just straight weight right here. Straight up weight. Oh my goodness. Not much I can really do here. talking five pound five pound tests just need him to come up here come up here baby just want to net you I want him to come up here because I don't want him to disturb all those fish down there walking god I cannot believe I hooked that fish I really want to see if it's in his mouth or not because I think I felt the thump, but I just want to make sure. Yeah, it looks like it is in his mouth. All right, come here, buddy. Absolute magnum. Pretty good size one too. I mean, on this pole, look at this pole, guys. <laughs> this is insane. This is gonna be hard to land with this really long pole. There you go, come on up here. There you go, come on up. Oh, it saw me. Now it's taken off. Jeez. God, what a fight. This is crazy. Let's see if I can get him up here in the shallower water. Oh, there it goes again. Golly. <laughs> I told y'all if I got one, it was going to be an insane fight. They're swimming around everywhere. There's like two dozen of them right here. It's so hard to get them to eat. I'm still not even completely sure what they're eating. This rod is not really made for these giants like this. Come here. Come here. Don't, 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 don't. Ah, oh, he's so big he can barely fit in my net. This way, this way, this way. Ah, just cannot turn him with this little bitty rod. This lightweight rod. 
I'm afraid my line's gonna break. Uh, all right, now come this way. Get in this water. There we go. God, you won't even fit in my net. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Won't even fit in my net. Yes, and he is hooked inside of the mouse. Oh, God, he's about to break my rod. Absolutely insane. Yeah, he just sucked it right in. Oh, boys. You want to talk about an insane fight. All right, buddy. Can I put you in the water? Will you be less, less crazy? Let me get my, get, let me get my fly out. Ah, gosh, I don't want to damage my fly. This is a hand tide. Flop over one more time. On the other side. There you go. All right, fly is out. Here we go, guys. Now we're just gonna let this fish go. Yeah, he's ready to go. Look at that. <laughs> oh. You guys have been wanting to do that for so so long <sighs> so so long there we go I had him I tied this fly last night little nymph little four millimeter bead and uh, some rabbit's fur And I was actually just playing around with it, used for some crappie, but I like using those heavier nymphs on this uh, straight nymphing pole. So it just makes it easier because I'm, I'm using the rod to really control where the lure is and not, not casting it out there and needing to use floats and different split shots to control where it is. So that was crazy. Let's see if we can actually get a hook set on camera here. It took forever but maybe we can make it happen again. I'm also thinking about just flipping over some rocks to see what's underneath here, kind of match the hatch, but we'll keep going with our hand tied, you know? It's even more special when you get a hand tied strike. There's just like a whole kitten, a kitten caboodle of them here. Oh my gosh, this one's gonna eat it. He's on it. I got him. Oh my gosh, very next cast. What? What? I saw him follow it. Oh, he broke my line. My gosh. My gosh. I mean, he was on it like white on rice. God, he took my hand tied fly. <sighs> yeah, absolutely. That was, that was insane going from what I had witnessed on the first dozen fish that I tried to catch, and they were extremely shy. To I got into a herd of them. And I think they're feeding, and I went. I went in there with that deal, and it literally just came out at it like it was. It had to have it. So let's try to do that again. Unfortunately, it's not going to be on one I tie myself. But I do have something similar. Just a little booger on the bottom here. It's got to have some weight. Try this little rabbit's hair ear thing. I don't really know what it is. Little scuds. That's what I need to tie up for this. This is crazy. Because, I, you know, you go rainbow trout fishing. It's fun. It's a challenge. And a lot of times I'm going after them to eat them. These, I'm not going after them to eat them, but I just want to catch them and they're, they're so big. They're so big that I'm, 
I'm not really sure that I'm, I'm gonna land them. <laughs> like most of these are very large. I'm trying to fish on four and a half, five pound tests. That was a crazy heat right there. I mean, as soon as I got it in there, it was gone. So let's, let's try to do that again. This nymph is much lighter. It's gonna be way more difficult, but if I can get one to attack, like that one did, there's one coming up to it right now. He's got it, he's got it. I got him, oh my gosh, I got him. Oh my gosh. Guys, we're on the deal now, we're on the deal. Like they're coming to it. They're coming to it, they want it. This one's gonna eat, it's gonna eat. Following it. Like the whole herd is moving to me. It's just got it's gotta be a natural presentation. Sight fishing for giant buffalo carp, man. I don't know why it just went like super hot and heavy there for a minute. Like it, it was like I couldn't, I could not miss. Oh my gosh, they're right in front of me. They're right here in front of me. Straight dangle. Okay, new fly. This one's a tad bit heavier. Got him. Got him. Oh gosh. Is he awake? Is he alive? Is he awake? Does he know what's going on? He did not take off like that last one. Great. I can't I can't really do much with these fish. I tried last time to get them to come back and that was not happening. I mean this is like an eight pound fish on a three weight. The last one woke up when he saw me, so let's see what's gonna happen here. I think he's just confused. Look at this pit. <laughs> this is insane. This is insane. Water is also really cold, so these things are not too fired up. <sighs> Barbless hook. Just keeping pressure. Yeah, come flop over here, bud. Come flop over here. We'll flop you in the net. If I can get him up ahead of me and just scoop him behind, I mean. He's just barely hooked, barely hooked in those little soft lips. This is an insane fight. Like, look at this bend in this pole, man. <laughs> it's crazy. Come here. Come here. No. God, I mean, as soon as he turns his shoulders, Fish has all the control. Just gonna try to get him up ahead of me. And then I'll let him drift, kind of drift in the net. Get him up in the shallow water. Come on, baby. Come on, 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 come on. There you go. There you go. There you go. Ah, oh, I got you. That one's bigger than the last one. Holy shnikes. Ah, I can't fit him in the daggum net. Oh. Look at this daggum fish, man. On a fly pole. On a three-weight fly rod. God, what a fight. Oh, the fly just popped out. Just popped out. Just popped out. Look at that. That's a beautiful one, too. 
he's unmarked a lot of them have have scars from getting snagged by lures it's pretty cool so a lot of people will call this a carp including myself but it's actually uh it's a smallmouth buffalo that is the correct term for it but i've called a buffalo carp for years look at that man so he was hooked just right in the top of the schnoz perfectly hooked oh i've caught two more than i expected to catch i'll tell you that and i've hooked four so if you guys just look out here there's uh it seems like there's more coming like there's probably 50 of them right here this is so cool though because i'm sight fishing for big fish which is you know one of the best things to do in fishing a light line just happens to be a, a buffalo carp that or a smallmouth buffalo that not many people want to catch but I'll tell you what man they are a fight and a half I am surrounded by fish surrounded got him mm-hmm Look at all those fish go. Look at all those fish go. Oh my gosh, this one is charging. Now it's coming at me. Yeah, this one's on the next level. Next level fight. Oh, I think I got him. Oh, he came off. Well, I think I had him in the top fin. I'm not completely sure. But he felt a little bit more rambunctious. Okay, yeah, they're a little... They're perturbed. I think I need to move away, let them resettle. go got one on a copper john god he just he sucked it in so light i didn't even feel it it was actually just floating through there drifting and it just got heavy how we doing here bud look at this pole man my gosh Land you already? Can we do this? Can we do this? Yes, there you go. Come on back, come on back, come on back, come on back. Step up to you. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't take off. Oh, there he goes. Whoppers, man. <laughs> Whoppers of fish. Oh, now he doesn't look so pretty. He's been he's been torn up in his day. Uh, guys, this is crazy. This is low key just nuts. Get our little fly out. There we go. And we'll release release the buff. What a rodeo out there on the creek today, guys. That was uh, more than I expected to happen, and it was awesome. I really don't know what is better, and you guys can let me know in the comments. And, and one of the things I cherish about fishing is most of the time you're going out there, you fill a tug on your line, 
you set the hook and you truly don't know what is on the end of your rod and reel. You know, it could be a, a two pound bass, it could be a 10 pound bass, it could be a crappie, it could be a big cat, but we, you don't truly know until it surfaces. But then there's those rare times where you are looking at a fish, you know exactly what species it is, you know exactly what size it is, and you kind of get that buck fever feeling trying to fish for that thing and get it to bite. The sight fishing is, is so rare in fishing throughout the year, I feel like, and I don't know which, which one is better. The, the true mystery are really knowing and having that buck fever feeling. You guys let me know in the comments on that. Catching a eight to 10 pound fish on light line sight fishing, I don't care if it's green, I don't care if it's brown, I don't care if it's a gray smallmouth buffalo, it's pretty awesome. I have crapped on buffalo and carp for years and years. Uh, and and a, a lot of times that's because I, I don't know how to catch them. You know, I stick them with my bow and stuff like that. And we have so many of them here. And we just pass them up. They swim by our boat while we're bass fishing, crappie fishing, whatever. And uh, what I figured out today was they, they are extremely challenging to catch. They're smart. They have great eyesight. And uh, they actually are really fun. I have tried to eat one of these before and it was the worst freshwater fish I've ever put in my mouth. Some of you may have another experience with it, but as far as just catching, it's a fun time. So thank you all for tuning in today. Smash that like button for a challenging fishing adventure. Speaking of adventure, we're gonna hop in the wagon here, take the crispy, and we got some camping fishing videos coming up. So y'all stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you soon.